Welcome to this uh, presentation on the Converge Wall Mount Bluetooth Expander. My name is Ben Mahoney, and I'll be walking you through some of the hardware and software details related to our Bluetooth Expander module. First of all, we wanted to cover that the Bluetooth Expander module allows you to essentially bring any Bluetooth device into your conference space. Now, this could be a cellular phone, but it also means that you could bring a tablet or a computer into the space and utilize the conference room's professional grade audio quality uh, solutions with a device such as a cell phone. NFC tap to pair makes it very easy to connect those devices to the system itself. One of the things that I will be showing you is uh, the ability to essentially connect your phone to the Bluetooth expander module. It can be done directly at the device, but also can be done from NFC sticker tags that you can place anywhere inside of that space to make it convenient to connect to the conference call. In addition to that, one of the things that we've done with this device is make it a little bit different than the uh, Bluetooth connectivity that you might be experiencing inside of your automobile. With our module, you have to be intentional in the way that you connect to it. It doesn't just automatically connect when you're within range. You either have to go to your device's settings or you'll need to uh, bring it up again to the module or one of those NFC sticker tags to get your device to reconnect to that space. I'll give you a live demonstration of this in just a minute. The pairing name can be customized and we definitely recommend doing that. Probably the name of the conference space is the best way to accomplish something like that. There what you can do is inside of the software, open up the uh, transmit end of the audio channel and there will be a setting. I'll show you that. But again, you can name it your conference space like uh, Alta or Training Lab, which is where I happen to be right now. In addition to that, something that you should be aware of is only one device can be connected to the module at a time. And once that device is connected, no other devices can be connected to it simultaneously. You also have the capability of locking the device out so that if when you are communicating within your conference call, you don't want someone else outside of that space to connect to the conference space. All you have to do is tap on the uh, button and it will change the LED to red. It clears off any existing connections and makes it inaccessible for any Bluetooth devices at that point. It is a P-Link device. And so while right now I am connected to a Versa Pro CT system and it will work perfectly with that, it will also work with a Converge Pro 2 system. It does have to be the last device on the P-Link chain as there is a connection in, but there is not an out pass through. So always the very last device on the P-Link chain. But if it was a uh, Converge Pro 2 system, you would have the ability to have up to 12 of these devices matched to 12 DSP P-Link output. It is a standard gang, uh, single gang back box with about two and a half inches of depth required for it to work. The size of the faceplate is a standard Decora rocker switch. And so you can go to your local hardware store and get uh, multi-gang faceplates to make it work perfectly in a multi-gang box. And as I mentioned earlier, it is Bluetooth 3.0 compliant, meaning that you can use not just your phone, but a tablet, uh, a computer, all of these devices can connect, assuming that it fits within one of these three Bluetooth 3.0 profiles. Lastly, excellent range on the device itself. It can go up to 150 feet line of sight, assuming that there is no other type of interference. Now, that's probably not realistic, as you will end up having some kind of RF interference with most devices. So. 150 feet would be the extreme, but as you can see, that is excellent range and will fit most modern size conference spaces. So with that said, what I'd like to do is show you a little bit of a live demonstration related to connecting to the system itself. Right now, we are looking at both the transmit and receive channels on the Bluetooth expander module, and as I mentioned, if you want to come in and relabel the pairing name, which I would generally recommend you do, you go to the transmit channel, you go to this Bluetooth uh, 
box right there and click on it and then you can change your pairing name to whatever you would like it to be. Now to give a demonstration of connecting it to the module itself, what I will do is show you that process. So right now I've opened up and have it on my Bluetooth settings page. So right now I could just manually connect to it since I've already paired to it once. And there it's connected. And then if I wanted to disconnect, I could just press that again. But for ease of use, another thing that you can do is with NFC, take your device and place it next to the module or one of those NFC sticker tags and then it'll connect to it that way. Now, if I want to call someone, I'm gonna go ahead and call Terry, one of our other trainers who happens to not be here in the office. Terry, if you mind joining. Hey, Terry, how you doing? Hey, good, go ahead and call me. Okay, so Terry's gonna mute on our conference call, so I can call him, whoops, wrong Terry, there we go. So you hear it ringing through my speaker right there. Hey, Ben. Hey, Terry, how you doing? Yeah, good. Does it uh, sound okay? Yeah, sounds excellent. So picking him up through this loudspeaker, he's probably hearing me, I'm guessing, through the beamforming microphone that's part of my VersaPro CT system right here. There you go. Yeah. yeah. That's really all. Yeah, yeah, that's all we need from that end. So we'll go ahead and hang up there. And I'm going to go back to my Bluetooth settings. So you can see I'm still paired to it. And I want to show you the lockout feature now. Now, as I mentioned, when you go into the lockout feature, it will automatically clear this connection and make it unavailable. I'm going to hit that button. Disconnected. So I'm going to see it removed from that list right there. And even though it was one of those paired devices, now when I try to connect to it, I'm not going to have that capability. until, if I wanted to, back out of that locked out mode and connect. Now I should be able to connect. And there you go. So those are the details of the expander module and everything that you generally would need to know. Again, works with a VersaPro CT system, works with a full-blown Converge Pro 2 system in any configuration. So for more information, please visit our website at www.clearone.com. Thank you for your time.